our tale of the day for this strawweight fight. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. HBC first. Fighting out of the blue corner. Tabitha Baby Shaw! And now introducing your opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Yoshino! Ready to fight? Ready? Go. All right, DC, here we go with round one between these two women, and neither one seemed all that rooted in a game plan in our fighter meeting, perhaps because both fighters are exceedingly well-rounded. Yeah, whenever you're as good as they are, when both of these women have all the skills, you don't really have to have a game plan that you're going to stick by, because you have the ability to adjust as the fight goes on. I'm just wanting to see which one makes the first move, because at times when you're fighting someone, with the equal skill set, it's a little bit of hesitancy early until you can find which way you want to approach the fight. Ricci going for the head kick. No dice. All right, so she lands yet another leg kick there. She's landed several in the round, and now you see the damage. It's obvious on the other side. I mean, look at the redness in the leg, the bruise and the welt on the leg from those leg kicks. Unbelievable to watch someone land that kick over and over again. But if it's working, why would you change it? Keep going to the well. Nice Up to the head there by Xiao Na. Oh, how good is she with her kicks as she goes to the inside of that leg there? She's good at every single kicking technique, and this is just another one she's putting on display. Oh, nice job by her to land a knee to the body. Her size advantage certainly helped on that exchange. Oh, nice inside kick. Oh, nice jab by Yan Xiaonan. The takedown is not there. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Nice body kick there. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Oh, strong punch there by Yan Shaun On. Trying to kick the leg out. Going to the body now with that hook shot. Nicely done by Baby Shark, Tabitha Ricci. And there's that jab. Oh, she lands another knee there. I'm not sure how many more her opponent can take. And height isn't always an advantage in this matchup tonight. It certainly appears to be. Just over two minutes, round one. Nice elbow. I can't tell if that opened up the cut or not. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. Let's recompose. Well, she's got a good jab. Missed with it there. It's okay. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Oh, crippling uppercut. Nah, she misses with the left punch there. That shot blocked by Ricci. Great tempo to her striking game tonight. She is staying busy and a nice... Well, she told us in our fighter meeting on Thursday the double leg would be there. It was certainly there in that instance. J.A., she said they're not built like her. Right. They can't stand up to the straight train double. And she just got it off. Great job, great technique, great confidence in that position. Ricci's in half guard now. All right, she's in the full guard here, DC. She's going to be looking to pass, try to get to the next position. Xiao Nan's back in half guard. Oh, right into Mount. Oh, 
Nicely done. Right into side control. Xiao Nan's trying for a Kimura here. Oh, she's got that Kimura locked in tight now. Nice transition from the Kimura to the armbar now. Oh, that looks tight and painful. She is going to rip her arm off if she does not tap. Oh, she got out! Oh, my goodness. What a display of submission defense by the show lady. Final seconds here of round one. She's got her back now. Four huh. sounds for the end of round one. Take a seat. Deep breath. And relax. Take a drink of water and listen. I want you to set those kicks up a little bit better. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing them. If they're not going to check them, keep throwing the leg kick. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. All right, here we go with our next round. Previous round, both fighters had their moments. We'll see who takes the upper hand. Both had their moments, but nobody really stood out. Nobody separated themselves from the other fighter. Which of these two women is going to be able to really charge out ahead in the next round? Oh, nice. She lands a beautiful left. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Short uppercut here in the clinch by Yan Shao She gets space and gets some separation. Shao Nan going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Oh, good vision defense. Shao Nan gets caught by the straight punch. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown D? Lands a big elbow there. Trying to establish that jab once again. Me first, me first. Back and forth we go. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. Attacking both sides now. Fast jab lands it. Great left hand. It may not look like she's hurt uh, to the blind eye, but she's getting stunned. You keep taking that. It'll be a short night. Jan Shaunam's in half guard. All right, right into side control now. We'll see if she can dole out some damage. A lot of fighters would prefer the half guard. She does pretty good work here, though. She does great work in the half guard. She's very brutal. Baby Sharp's going for the sub here. Oh, real good submission attempt now. That one looks tight. Oh, she got out. How good is that? Ricci getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. That was nice. Just over two minutes now to go in the round. Let's focus. Xiao Nan's back into full guard. Nice ground strikes landed by her from top position now. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Outstanding grappling battle and now back to the feet. Huge response from the crowd. We'll see who has the advantage here. Big response from the crowd. They appreciate high-level mixed martial arts and is exactly what they just got between these two young women. Man, look at 
the redness appearing on the left side of her body there. That's starting to really add up. Oh, big left hand there. Ricci going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Oh, great job by the win. The knee strike there, you see. Ricci gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Well, she has certainly picked up the... Oh, she is in real trouble. Ooh. Nice leg kick. Oh, my goodness. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Oh, nice. Another nice kick by her there, and as a lot of fighters will say, no pad on the foot. No pad on the foot, and no shin guards to protect you. She is blasting her opponent right now. Massive knee lands from the tie clinch. She missed with that jab. Richie's nose is cut now, and she's starting to deal with some blood in that area. On the shot, there you go, single leg. Now, beautiful work by her on the ground there. Nice job by Tabitha Ricci. Two rounds in the books. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round. We will keep an eye on this cut. You see the cut man racing in there. Cut, it looks like it's on the bridge of the nose. He'll try to shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for her here moving forward. Looks like he'll close it up now. All right, things are getting interesting, folks. She is back to the stool, appears to be breathing okay, but a huge cut on the bridge of her nose. Yeah, when you get cut there, it's hard to breathe. Your mouth starts to go open a little bit, but the blood becomes an issue. She was not locked in defensively, and that punch right there opened up the cut on the bridge Ready, of her nose. Ready. Ready. Third round underway. All right, so two pretty good previous rounds. Now another round is underway. Your thoughts on what we might see here over these five minutes? That one thing that ladies will really start to try and drive the point home that she is the better fighter. Well, she lands another strike to the body here, and the percentage is getting high now in terms of the body strikes landed. Didn't see a lot of that earlier on, making up for lost time here. Ah, uh, not a good visual there. You can see she can put some pressure on that lead leg, but starting to limp, man. She's starting to limp. She's been beat up. Her opponent had a game plan, an idea that that would be something that would be available to her. She was able to get to it early, and now she's continuing. Oh, what a strike by her there. I do not doubt her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on the right. She's got to get out of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. Great job landing from the top position. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Ricci's back inside control. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Nice transition. Trying to set up a submission now. Look at that, that's tight. Oh, she's working so hard. submission defense on display by this young lady. Baby Sharks back in full guard now. Right into side mount. She's stepping over in the mount here. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Go. Watch for the huge elbows that she's going for. Strong reversal there. Now the hammer fist here by Ricci. She's so fast, so straight, everything just perfect. Everything perfect. Every strike, every kick, every punch. 
Everything's just perfect. Well, not sure if there's an injury or something, but here we are late in this fight, and she absolutely needs a finish or she's not going to win this fight. Well, she needs a finish. She's taking a beating. I mean, she's fatigued. She's exhausted. She sees a fighter that has gotten the best of her. I can understand the frustration, but she has to throw all that out the window and go and try to chase a finish. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking and both seem damaged. It's always fun when you get a fight like this, where you see the blood on both sides, where you see the swelling on both sides, where you see the concern from both fighters recognizing that, wow, I've got my equal in front of me. Let's see who can push through and get the victory. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, it's getting very, very deep. Still in hot pursuit of the submission here. Well, hard to see exactly where she is cut, but it's somewhere around that eye area. Doesn't look great. It's never good to get cut, but right now it's a small one. You don't have to worry about it, but you got to protect it. Under a minute now to go on the fight. And now she's in mount. Oh, arm triangle. Arm triangle. Arm triangle. Oh, that looks wicked tight. Squeeze that arm triangle. She's still got it locked in. She's like a dog with a bone. Oh, great it's submission. Hard, the the She's got to be careful here. seconds of the fight. Reaches right back to the full mount. And that is how you end a fight. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 29-28. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Yashanov! All right, so pretty clean effort out of her, really, from the opening horn tonight. She is your winner by unanimous decision. And as a fan, you understand how important this is in the evolution of someone's career. She did a great job of staying focused, staying the course, and getting a unanimous decision.